Hello all. I just want to give a quick shout out to George Nelson. Had a great conversation with him, a nice Q&A webinar with him yesterday about building a strong safety culture for frontline workers and for field staff. But after that conversation, I really started thinking about what that means for another portion of the workforce, including myself, that went from the office to now the home office and what that means and being mindful about our bodies and our relationship with our work environment. So I know in the office that could be a little easier. You have all the materials and tools you need, um, nice chairs, good desk. Uh, if, if you have a screen that's too low, you can adjust it. You can have risers. Uh, it's just really easy to kind of take care of ergo in the office. But now that we're home, not all of us have the right material. So I want you guys to be very mindful about how you're sitting and how that can cause some pain over time. So a couple things that I did that I think really helped my transition out. The first thing I did was grab my chair from the office. So uh, to be honest with you guys, my chair was about five years overdue that was here. So I had to repurpose that and get rid of that. So the next thing I did was investigate and get a uh, standing desk. Um, I say that because I actually got a standing desk for one of my coworkers. Uh, shout out to Ben Jacobs. Uh, thank you for that. But this is really nice. Um, it's electrical. It's got you know settings on it and everything. But even if I didn't get this, I was going to go and get one from Amazon. They're on for as low as like a um, hundred bucks. If you you know, there's a range to this. So however much you want to spend. Um, but what's really nice about that is not only does it get you up and standing and kind of get you out of that monotonous kind of grind of the day, but it also, depending on what kind of desk you get, can get you set up for the right height for your chair. So uh, it's really helped me get my body aligned. And the last thing I did uh, was make a no couch policy. So again, I know I have a couch right here, but uh, I do not sit on my couch during work hours. Um, on the surface level, it seems like it'd be very comfortable to sit on a couch. Uh, but if you guys have ever tried to work on a couch, as I'm sure everybody has, it's not so comfortable for me. So I tend to hunch over and then I tend to get some back pain and some neck pain as well. So I want everybody to be mindful. Um, just think about it quickly today as you're sitting at your desk and say, hey, is this ergonomically correct um, uh, to try to prevent that uh, chronic pain? So. If you guys um, like this video, please give it a like. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions of some tips that you guys did um, in your case to kind of make the transition from the office to home, please drop it in the comment. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. All right. Um, so again, uh, you can see these videos every day. We also have uh, these will also be housed on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to InCamp if you miss any video. So I want to keep this daily EHS content up. And remember, what's good for business is good for the environment.